let's go ahead and open up this nickel box next. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. We've got another nickel box to hunt. I, this is part of the three nickel boxes that I picked up from Wells Fargo after I found that V nickel. And the last box, you know, was a good box of good finds, but not a lot of finds because it was chock full of 2018 Ds mixed in, which sometimes is a good sign, sometimes is a bad sign. And judging by this box, it looks like we could have another box full of 2018 Ds if uh, we're not careful here. There seems to be a lot of newer coins in here mixing with some old ones, so this could be another rough hunt. We never know until we get into the rolls though, so with that being said, let's get into them. Well, this is gonna be an interesting box. I just cracked open a roll, the end was 2011, and it's an entire uncirculated roll of 2011 Ds, and I've checked a few other ends, and it looks like we've got several rolls of 2011 Ds. So I'm kind of torn here. I don't know if there's gonna be a mix of some other years in there, and I'd hate to leave them closed, but it's odd that we've got some 2011 D full uncirculated rolls, and judging by the box, there might be several rolls like that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out all the ones that appear to have full rolls just by the ends, and see what we have left, and uh, get your guys' thoughts. Maybe I'll leave them rolled, and. Hold on to them. 2011, there's no real errors or varieties to, that are mentioned. And even in Mint State 65, there's still only about uh, 50 cents a piece. But if there's a whole bunch of them, it might be worth holding on to them. I don't know. Give me your thoughts. In the meantime, we'll separate them out. I'll show you what I have. All right. Well, I've separated out what I think is all 2011 D uncirculated rolls. Both ends either have a 2011 or they have a coin that appears to be a more modern Lincoln cent. I know it's uh, not atypical to find uncirculated coins on each end or at least newer coins, but because I've already opened one roll, I'm thinking that all these are 2011 D uncirculated rolls. Now there could be coins mixed in them, but Wanted to get your guys' thoughts. I mean, should I try to sell them as 2011D uncirculated nickels and see if someone wants to look through them for MS65, 66, or 67 examples? I mean, there's probably some really great coins in there. Again, even at uh, even if they were graded, they wouldn't be worth much. Uh, you'd spend more on the grading than on the coin, most likely. I'll do a little more research, but I might hold on to those and not open them. There is 30 rolls there. But I bring in, because I still have some rolls to search, and in looking at all the ends, check out this ender. It says 1985, kind of an odd uh, end. I don't know if that's some kind of uh, penny or pence or some kind of British coin. Not quite sure. It could even be from another different country. I'm going to open it up and we'll see what it is. All right, we got it out and it looks like it's a 20 pence. 1985 so pretty cool find I believe it's a British coin so yeah glad I opened that roll glad I spotted that we'll continue hunting this roll that's already open see if we find anything else in it and I'll get on with the hunt of these rolls as well all right guys I'm pretty nervous and excited here same roll as that that uh, 20 pence and look what we got here we've got a 1950 Is it a 1950D? It's not. It's a 1950 Philadelphia, but you know what? I don't have very many 1950 coins. And I'll tell you, I'm a little surprised right now because in going through this, this box, it's starting to make sense. I'm not seeing anything older than 2011. We got an 08 here, 92. I mean, there is, in the rolls that are not full rolls of 2011, there is nothing over 2011. Could it be possible that I got a box that's been sitting for a long time? I'll keep looking and see if I see anything else newer, but I have not found a coin 
newer than 2011 so far. I'll let you know what I find. All right, I'm bringing in another roll, guys. It's almost all 2011 Ds. The ends weren't. One was and one wasn't. And we had a handful of other coins in here. Again, the last two rolls I've looked at, the oldest coin is, or the newest coin is 2011 D. So it's catching me in a little bit of a conundrum here because if these aren't full rolls or some aren't full rolls, we could have some old ones in them. I'm going to finish this box up now. I'll loop you in if I find something we're showing in between these rolls. But when I get to the end, I might test another five rolls to see what I see. And while I'm opening, I might even look for some really high quality ones as well. I'll be back. Very next roll, guys. <laughs> the 1941. The 1941 Philadelphia. First 40s of the box. Probably not going to get a lot of fines. But, uh, yeah, nothing past 2011. I know I keep saying that, but nothing. I could show you the hunt here. I haven't looked at these coins, but I guarantee nothing's past 2011. I figured I'd give you guys a different look. I just wanted to show you this. This is so weird. It's like I'm in a time capsule box here. I've opened several more rolls since my last edit here, and nothing, I repeat, nothing is older than 2011. So I wanted to open a roll live just to show you what I'm looking at. It's so weird to go through a roll of nickels and not see any of the modern ones. I guess we could have a uh, silver one here. Let's just double check just in case. It, we do not. 2000. All right, let me go ahead and open this up real quick and lay them out. See if I get the counter position a little better for you. And let's go through them. 91, 98, 83, 81, 2000, 2010, 90, 202, 08, 95, 06, there's a 2011, 2001, 64, 92, 95, 99, 89, 06, 2000, 74, let me just clean this up here. 82, there's an 11D new one again, 88, 87, 89, 78, 86, 80, 08, 69, 80, 02, 08, 01, 2011, 87, 83, and 81, or 71. Again, not one coin, not one coin after 2011. So along with this roll, we have about nine rolls left, plus all these, a few, a few finds so far. I just wanted to show you, I really think guys, I have found, and it's damaged, I have found a nickel box that's been sitting in a bank vault for seven years. Unbelievable. And it's funny, if this is the bank I'm thinking of, they actually were giving me a hard time about getting nickels saying they only had a box left. They went ahead and got it for me after the initial disagreement. Interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever found a nickel box several years old that has no coins? Not one discard coin is after 2011. Crazy. Let me get back to the hunt. All right, guys, one of the next rolls. We've got a 42 hiding back here. Appears to be non-silver, and it is 42 Philadelphia. All right, guys, so I have 20 rolls that have at least one side showing 2011 Ds. These are all brilliant uncirculated rolls. These have tails on both ends, but they're in the same box. I'm pretty certain they're uncirculated rolls as well, and they're 2011 Ds. The problem is you really can't sell them like this because there's no proof of what they are. I know what they are, but it doesn't really matter. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm lo I looked on eBay, these are selling between seven and 10 bucks a roll. Now, they're not selling like hotcakes at all, but look at these things. They have not seen human hands. So I'm gonna leave these in the roll. It's a shame that I already popped one open, but it is what it is. 
I probably should just go ahead and pop these open as well. Um, because again, no one's going to trust that the 2011 D's because they can't see them. So what I'm going to do is probably pop these open. I'll pop a couple open and see if there's any coins that are aged in between them. And if I see that, then I'm going to kind of know that those might not be that either, but highly unlikely. The one roll I opened that had a 2011 D circulated facing with a clean back on the other side was a full roll of 11 Ds. Anyway, I'm going to pop open a couple of these rolls and see what I find and I'll fill you back in. Very first roll cracked it open guys. There is some circulated coins in there. So we're going to continue the hunt and open those rolls. Very next roll is a full roll of uncirculated. And to prove it, there you go, 2011s. So now we're one for two on having them be full rolls. I'll try another one. Very next roll is a full roll as well. As fate would have it, all remaining six rolls were fully uncirculated rolls. So that makes me feel a little more confident about putting these up for sale on eBay. I'll go ahead and do that. If I have a link for it, if you guys have interest, leave in the comments below. Maybe I'll go ahead and cut you guys some deals on these if you're really looking at uh, 2011D uncirculated rolls. Maybe I'll give first look at you guys. I only have 20 rolls. If you're interested in them, let me know, and uh, we'll see about hooking you guys up with some. I guess the finds of the box, 65, uh, really good condition. We only had one 2009. It's funny. You would think with the box that was put together in 2011, we would have more 09s, but the one we got is in really good shape, so that makes me happy. Better than I usually see them. We got this 20 pence coin, kind of cool, and we got uh, five from the 50s. Really, the find of the box is this 1950 Philadelphia. I'll take it. I only have a handful of 50 coins, and then a 41 and a 42, so... Not a lot of finds, but if you think about it, I really only opened up 19 rolls that were not full of 2011 Ds. And even a handful of those had a lot of 2011 Ds in them. Still, let me know what you guys think. Pretty good finds. Would you be happy with a bunch of uncirculated rolls from seven years ago? Anyway, odd box for sure. I think I'm going to call this video the seven-year-old nickel box. Hopefully you enjoyed the hunt with me. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching.